Hello and welcome to our channel Energy Revolutions, where we will be talking about various types of energy production, how they shaped society in the past, how they may shape society in the future, um, how they work. Um, yeah, starting off with Mike's videos about coal energy. Yeah, so we'll begin by taking a look at coal power. So firstly, I'll be covering the formation of coal and the mining processes that we use to extract it. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the uh, environmental and pollution problems that burning coal brings. So this includes the large amounts of carbon dioxide that burning coal uh, produce. Uh, and then uh, we'll take a look into the, into the actual power plants that burn the coal and how they function and a little bit about the combustion of coal and then we'll take a different uh, approach and look at the societal impact that coal power has brought to our society and also the political issues that it's currently bringing uh, and finally we'll have a look at the future of coal and whether there is a future for coal power with some new technologies that could help to reduce the emissions yeah, my name is Anna and I'll be doing a series on nuclear fission energy, starting off with the discovery of nuclear fission um, and then about the earlier fission reactors, so mostly Gen 2 light water reactors. Um, for the third video, I'll be discussing the Chernobyl and Fukushima accidents and how governments responded to them. And uh, for the fourth one, I'll talk about radioactive waste management and how to how we are currently trying to solve that problem. Um, and yeah, for the last video, I'll talk about the future reactors that are currently being developed, the Generation 4 ones. And yeah, and that concludes my series. Hello, my name is Leon and my series is on energy storage technologies. I will begin with a short introduction to why we may need energy storage in order to increase the amount of renewable energies we have in our mix. The second video is on the lithium ion battery, how it revolutionised technology in the past few decades and its issues why it is not suitable for grid scale applications to be used alongside renewable energies. After that, for the third video, I'll be discussing hydrogen energy storage and its potential uses as long term energy storage and its side uses in industry and vehicles. The fourth video is mechanical energy storage where I'll cover the hydro pump which currently is responsible for most of the energy storage in the world as well as the compressed air energy storage technologies that may be revolutionary in the future. I will then finish off with the redox flow battery which is a chemical way of storing energy that may be extremely suited to grid scale applications. Uh, I'm Anna, I'll be uh, talking about fusion. So in my first video, I will talk about fusion in nature, so in stars, and then I'll move on to uh, talking about fusion in reactors on Earth. So firstly, magnetic confinement reactions, uh, reactors, and then on to inertial confinement reactors. I'll then finish off with a video about how we get the fuels uh, and where they come from and the issues around uh, getting fuels from resources. We hope you enjoyed this short introduction to who we are and the different technologies we will be covering individually. After we upload the videos we discussed in this video, we will also upload a 40 minute long podcast we recorded where we go into additional detail on the societal, the environmental and the political impacts of these technologies. We hope you enjoy our content.